All right. Welcome to Inside the Soundwave Internet TV Show, live from the beaches of Indiana, Florida. Indiana, Atlantic, Florida. Boy, I spit that out. Where your local musicians get to tell their music story from the beginning to the present. Our featured local musician today is the famous, I think, the famous around the world, in this country, around the world, in Florida especially, and Bernard, Mr. David Pastorius. Let's have a hand for Mr. Pastorius. All right. Where's that yeah. audience, man? I want to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a, what you're talking about instead of an audience. So that's good. Oh, there, there we are. Oh, man, we're over here now. That's great. You gotta love it. The only problem is, I mean, I can't see. I can't see over here because there's a stand in the way. But I can't even see the audience. <laughs> we have David here today. Yeah, it's an honor. It's the show number three. I've had Ron Caddy, an honor. Kenny Cohen, an honor. Now David Pastorius, an honor. It's three weeks. I've had super great musicians, great guests, great people. David has been tearing it up in Brevard and many other places for quite a while now, right, David? How many years have we been going on with this? Um, I started when I was 15, 20 years. 20 years? Been for, yeah, I've been playing for 20 Craig, years. Craig, you, you're just, you're 34? 35. 35. Yeah, 35. Just turned 35. I'll be, I'll, I'll be 36 in February. <laughs> oh, gee, okay. Yeah. I didn't mean to push that out no, of you. I, I don't care. That's cool. That's but, yeah, I wish I was 36 ago. I was, I can't remember. It's too too long ago. In the audience, I got Ron Caddy. Hi, My guys. first guest was Ron Caddy. You probably get a glimpse of him on Jamie's camera. Jamie, give him, give him a glimpse of oh, Ron. Come on, man. Yeah, he's there. We got to see Ron. There he is, right behind There's me. Ron, and I have Woo! Sean no, Salthouse. <laughs> All the way from Sebastian. Sean came up to see the show today. Thank you, Sean. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Ron. Now, let's get back to the man here. The man. I call the man because I think this fellow is probably one of the best play- bass players. I've heard. I'm like, I don't care what you say. I think, it's, nice. I think you're tremendous. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been around a long time, and I've heard a lot of bass players, and it's, it's incredible what you do with that guitar. And you do more than just bass, or you just play bass? <clears throat> Pretty, I just play bass. I mean, I mess around with different things like guitar, but... I play bass. I w- you're not going to see me li- like you know playing live anything else anything but bass. Else. But yeah, yeah, we won't see you you know picking up a six string right now. No, do you, do no. you play a bigger bass occasionally? You ever go to a six? Well, how many? They got more than you mean like more strings? Five string, six string. string. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bass. I used to play a five string for a long time, and I went back to four. Actually, going back to four was harder than learning to play a five. And the reason is because four, with a five, you got you got. You know, you got five strings, you can rest in one area. With four, I had to, like, oh, man, I have to learn my neck. It forced me to learn my neck, so there's just a lot of jump, more jumping around and stuff to do on a four. So, you know, more strings. Is, yeah, you're, you're right. even giving uh, bass lessons now on an app, on the I'm phone, I'm going to start, right? yeah. On, uh, What's the called, name of that? It's called uh, Rock School, and it's on, uh, what is it, Droid or iPhones. You can get it. Right, I've already downloaded it on my yeah, phone. yeah. 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 That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, you, you, you can that, take yeah. bass lessons. Uh, David's doing that right from your phone yeah. or your iPad or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's great. Um, if I could get somebody to move the stand out of the way so you know I can probably see the, the people out there and, and the goodies. Uh, thank you. There we are. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to find out. I want to, one, one question. Okay, you've been playing 20 years, roughly. Yeah. Right? Where did you start playing? Where did I start? Yeah, right here in Brevard. Yeah, I bought. I was yeah. I've been here my whole life. I was born in Minneapolis, and then when I was but when I was like six months old, came down here. I've been okay, here. six. So, yeah, I'm from here. Born in the Minneapolis. Yeah, you came down to Florida. Yep, my family came down here. And who's your dad? Oh, uh, his name's Rory. Okay. Rory. And what's Jocko? Jocko. Mm-hmm. Um, he was my uncle. Jocko was your uncle. Yeah, my uncle. I just wanted my dad's to get, bro- get that. My dad's brother. It's your dad's brother. Yeah. Okay. Because I watched some videos yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 some Montreal, some kind of oh, fest. The, yeah, the jazz fest. Yeah, Montreal it's eighty something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Incredible. Yeah. 
so you came you, you came to Brevard you, you, when you were a little guy, and then you started up right here. You started with your first band here in Brevard County. Yeah, well, the first band I ever played with back in when I was like seventeen, it was a band called Fleshy Headed Mutants. With I don't know, I mean, they were awesome. It was a great band. To, um, even by today, they're still awesome. You look up their stuff. Um, <laughs> Chuck T, the guitar player. Um, John Wells is a drummer. Uh, Jimmy Carlo, another vocalist. Uh, there was a guy named Dwayne playing guitar, and me. I played bass. But they they were around. Well, they were the they were around for it was like it was like Pantera meets mm. Cypress Hill. Or Pretty heavy. Some, yeah, it was cool. I love it. That's that's what I grew up on. That's my my roots is metal and punk, and that's what that's what I like. So who who was your idol when you were fifteen? Who who did you like the most? I know you had probably many musicians. If I had to name a couple guys, it'd be guys like Flea and Robert Trujillo, the guy the the, the guy who plays for Metallica now. Yeah. And he, back back there was like suicidal tendencies and infectious grooves. Yeah, and he was my favorite. You didn't get an invitation from them in the last six months or a year to, to, to fill in or play with them at all? No, nothing like that. I'm friends with I'm friends with Robert now, though. Robert's seen me play a few times, and uh, I've been out to his place and hung with him. He's a nice, he's an awesome guy. He's a great player. So yeah. And he's one of your idols. Yeah, and he was like my absolute <laughs> favorite. One he's still him. playing. Because honestly, man, right? honestly, Jocko really didn't have anything to do with me starting. Okay. And it's like I knew I knew I knew that he I I knew I had an, a. Uh, relative that played an instrument but I didn't pay much attention I knew bass but I was one of those I didn't know if it was oh is that the one with four or six strings I couldn't you know what I mean my friend played bass so he he was kind of a different style of music too yeah wasn't he? My, you mean Jocko yeah from what I do yeah. yeah different I mean now I listen to him now yeah he was he's amazing he was, he was, he was the man yeah uh, incredible but you uh, you had your first band say the name of that band again the first band uh, FHM Fleshy Headed Mutants that wasn't my band. I joined that band like later on. They were like on their way out, but it was still fun. You know? They were older than you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They did some fun shows, so that was it. They were playing up at the Hustler. That that was like pretty much the first bar I ever started playing at. The it's, Hustler. It's, it's called Baru's now. Yeah, that's right. This yeah, it's over this way. Yeah, that's the Hustler. That was there that long. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't realize that. Pretty cool. Well, that's quite. A, that's a long time. I, I didn't know that. I thought the Hustler was fairly a new, new, new club, and then they changed it over to Beirut's. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Well, now, in the '80s, you started around '85, right? You said somewhere's in there. Not even close. No. No, I was what '85. <laughs> in '85, I was eight. I started when I was oh. like 15, so I was like 90. What would that be? 92. Yeah, and the, right around there. Yeah, about seven years later. Yeah. So, so yeah. in the 90s? Yeah, 92 I started playing. Yeah, With that, that band here in Brevard County? Yeah, well, I started playing bass. for about, I played for about a year, before, a year, year and a half before I joined the band. And what happened to the band? Just broke up. Broke up? Yeah. And you went to another band? Went to a bunch of different bands. I don't even remember. I mean, I, there's a bunch of bands I played. I played in a band called Bongwater Taffy. Um, in the 90s? Yeah, a bunch of these bands. Nature Kids out of Orlando. They were awesome. Um, trying to think of like you know. You remember any of these guys? Or you, yeah. They're just oh yeah yeah. Still around? Are they still, still around? Good. The drummer. The, when I was in Nature Kids, one of my best friends. He got Tommy. Tommy the drummer. Tommy Sickles. Um, he's he's an awesome drummer. Like, so I still you know we still stay in contact and do some stuff here and there. Even in the nineties. That wasn't. In, that was like. That was like what. You were still like following that kind of music. That's what you were basically yeah, no, playing. That's, yeah, that's what I still like, too. And you still like I still it. like that, yeah. Well, local 518. Yeah. There's elements well, of all kinds you, what, of What genre would you call that music? Uh, I was listening to videos. Did you just say genre? Genre. 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 There you go. You genre. got it. I thought it was genre. Yeah. G, G E N R E. G E N R E, yes. Yeah. Genre. That's how you say. Spelling. <laughs> oh, so you okay. Yeah. Okay. That's my engineer and Chan. spelling teacher. John. Grammar teacher. Grammar <laughs> teacher. Spelling teacher. When I went to school, it was when spelling. you're on the air, you got to get it right. Spelling teacher. When I, we didn't have a grammar teacher when I went to school. We'll get it well, right. Well, we did. Get it right. He's from. He's from my era. He knows. We're about the same age. No. So in the '90s, you were already playing in numerous bands. You got moving along and. 
couple Nin- different ones, yeah. About 92, 94, somewhere in there? It was like 94 when I started playing in bands, like out, I think. Yeah, 93 or 94. Something like that. That was like the first time I played out. In Brevard. Cocoa yeah. Beach or Melbourne? It's 30 seconds left. Cocoa Beach or Melbourne? Uh, oh, that's sign. Melbourne, Cocoa you Beach, wherever. You can't miss those signs. Wherever. <laughs> <laughs> you, you played wherever. But you lived in Melbourne. Yeah. Okay, but you oh. so not Cocoa Beach. Maybe sometimes I don't remember. Kind of yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it's all yeah. to me. To me, up, you know, all up and down here is you know Melbourne to me right now. So it's like, okay. All right. Well, um, we're going to come back with a little bit more information about David Pastorius. He's got a lot more to tell. We're still in the '90s, he, and I'm sure he's got all kinds of things to tell us where we played, where the camera is that I'm supposed to be looking at. And we're over here. And we'll be coming back very shortly. Watch the video from Six Feet South, I believe. Harp City Harper and the Mentalist. Watch this video. It's great. And by the way, the opening, vi- the opening music now is from Har- uh, Six Feet South and Harp City Harper and the Mentalist. So watch this video. We'll be right back in about four minutes. Thank you. Stay tuned. Like a promo 
are back to Inside the Soundwave. Featured guest today is David Pistorius, famous bass player. Lucky to have him here. I'm glad he's here. He's going to play some bass riffs for us in a little while. And it's, we're just going to put him in the other room. Uh, we, unfortunately, we have more room now for the show, so we actually are busting out into the, the recording area, into the studio, because... We tried to have Ron Caddy in here with a keyboard, and we jammed him in here, and thank you, Ron, for putting up with the... It was a pleasure! It, it, was, it, was, it was a trial and error thing, and Ron did the piano here, and we stuffed him in a corner. And then Kenny Cohen, well, he has a saxophone, so he was pretty easy to accommodate. But we're going to put David in the other room on the next break, and you'll get to hear him play some bass, uh, bass lines for us. It's it's going to be great. No. I'm telling you, we, we in the '90s. We're going to get back to to the questions in the '90s. Uh, were you um, starting a family? Anywhere's in there? Um, or were you 2002. Still? Having my first. Oh, okay. Let's go back to the '95 or so, '96 then. Okay. So we were still we were still running around playing bass and and doing stuff. Were you writing your own music then? Um, ever since <clears throat> ever since I really started, I tried to start writing. Are not writing, but always trying to get different sounds out of it and do different things. I mean, that's why it's like I don't know. I, I mean, I know a decent amount of songs, but I really don't know that many tunes. Because most times when I pick up the bass, it's not necessarily a good thing. I should be practicing more. But mostly when I pick up the bass, I'm always trying to come up with something right. for the most part. But that's good, too. Well, so. earlier you were trying to do some bass to a tune you just heard for the first time. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I've learned a few tunes, but for the most part, pretty much right away, I was trying to come up with stuff on my own. So. And that's the way you've been doing this uh -huh. the whole time now, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. Who picks the songs? And, and local uh, 518. Who picks the songs? Are those Maybe. originals? Those are originals for the most. Yeah, they're all originals. And who wrote the songs? For the most part, me. Although Al Al Bodor, the guitar player, he's a, he's he's like he he has a lot to do with it. Like he's in ways his ways of like like uh, what is it production ideas and stuff like that. He's he's great. And he's done some writing. I've had some writing credits here and there with people. You know, Bianna helped, you know, Bianna, you know the drummer? Right. Bianna. Mm -hmm. um, he helped write a song, some of the stuff. Different guys, Ken Page, I don't know if you know who he is. I've heard of Ken him. Ken Page, Alex, everybody in the band's contributed little pieces. You know what I mean? But for the most part, me and Al are the, the two main, you know. Two main guys. Two main guys, yeah. And you do pretty much the 
conducting of the uh, band when they're playing? Have any been breaks or extended sometimes, leads or sometimes, solos? Sometimes. Yeah. I've seen you where you Yeah, a little kind of, bit, a little bit. But, I mean, so it's, you know, at the same time, I'm, I'm down for cues from anybody else, too, you know. Are you the leader of the band? Um, or would you consider yourself the leader of the band? Um, I guess, yeah, kind of. Mm-hmm. The bit, like, in Japan, I got a deal, I got a deal in Japan, but they wanted to call it David Pastorius. I wonder why. No, I'm just <laughs> This is the name thing, you know what I mean? I told right. them that I didn't want it, I didn't want that, but they were like, "No, that makes sense. That makes sense." So I was like, "All right, cool." But over here, it's just local five eighteen. Japan, in Japan, when, when I got a deal in Japan, they wanted to put it out as David Ooh. Pastorius and local five. When did you get that deal in Japan? Mm-hmm. Recently, five or six years ago. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've been over there a couple of times. Like six, two thousand six or seven, somewhere's in there. Five, maybe, yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. I could be off. I don't know. Somewhere and you there. got a deal. Wow, that's pretty good. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we put two albums out. They want us to put a third album out, so we're gonna start doing that here. What sometime. label? It's called it's called P Vine P Vine Records. And they're out of mm, Japan. Japan. Tokyo, I'm guessing. Wow. How did you How did you find How did that come about? I mean, I went over there. I went over there the first time I went to Japan. I went over there with this group called Jocko Big Band. And, I, you know, they were there. it was me and, like, Gerald Beasley. And um, we basically, you know, I, I, I went over there for, like, a week, and I met some people through that and kept up, kept contact with them and then sent them a CD of my band, and they were, like, interested in it. So that's what happened. So it does work. I mean, it does work getting... I guess, yeah. Getting the music... Well, I mean, let's be, let's be face it. I'm sure the name helps over there, especially over there. But I, the name's the two... There's two edges, two sides to that, the whole name thing. Because that's all. I get a lot of attitude right off the bat because of the name, too. Right. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. But I've been introduced as Jocko's nephew before. That's no, That does not help me at all. That's nothing. Because my name's rare enough. Right. It's not like, you know, it's not like Smith or something. No, no, no. You know, people... people, people it's better if they wonder than if they know. And then if they know after the fact of hearing me play, then it's better. So. Cool. Um, did you, you said you had two CDs out? Mm-hmm. And, and are they available anywhere to get them? Uh, yeah, I mean, I sometimes them? I yeah show. Sometimes I have copies. I make but them. I mean, are there oh, you uh, any stores yeah, online? You can go online and get them. Maybe iTunes or Maybe. Amazon. I'm not sure. I know you can you can you can you can order the album from Japan. <laughs> it's more expensive, but yeah. But it's cool. Um, but but it is available. Yeah. What are the names of the two CDs? I just uh, like one was just self-titled. The first one was just it's called Local 518. Right. And the second one's called Sense of Urgency. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. And you did you said you went over there. Did you go? Yeah, yeah it was awesome. We went over there for like a week. Jeez. The whole band? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. pretty interesting. I like that. And, and was this all arranged by a... a, a Book an agent or mm-hmm. music, you know, yeah. or record. Wow, that's good. Yeah. So I didn't know uh, Local 518 was together that long. Oh, the man, guys have been together. Been, that yeah, we've been, me and Al have been playing together. For so I'm time. out of the loop because I, I didn't it's know. Way. way out of the loop because I I keep thinking of Dave Pastorius and I'm, I'm thinking of um, a different band. But what, of course, there's Elephant Elephant Gun. Gun. I still play, yeah, Elephant Gun. I, I mostly play with Elephant Gun right now. That's the band I'm mostly playing with. And right how now. long have you been with Elephant Gun? I don't know, what, five years close to it, I guess? So, it's the, same it's been as, it's been same as local. A little, little Lo- less local 518 is a little bit longer. Longer. But not all that much longer. Same, but the, uh, what, Elephant Gun's three piece. Yeah. Yep, that's me, Tom Van Dyke, drummer, local drummer around here. Yeah, he's good and too. Trevor Prince, he's the vocalist. He's, Trevor's the leader of that band. Trevor's like the singer, vocalist, he writes most of the songs. Yeah, because I think he's Ryan, ta- and, he, and he's probably one of the more talented guys, honestly, just straight raw talent. The guitarist, with, yeah. Because yeah, as, as a songwriter, he's he, he you know what I mean? He, yeah, he's, yeah. I hate him. <laughs> no, we can no, I don't hate him. There's I mean, the sound effect. Where's the sound effect? <gasps> oh. no, now him. you want a sound effect? <laughs> oh. Oh, no, not that one. Can you have clapping? Oh, clapping? That? Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> no, okay. Harp City 
uh, Ryan, Harp City yeah. Harper, and I were talking the other day, and Ryan was saying that the guitarist, and he sings, mm -hmm. awesome singer, fits the band really well. Oh, he's great. He's great. So, yeah. But, he, yeah, we, um, uh... I mean, that's like Rush. You got a three-piece. Yeah. Not like Rush, though. But that's I, like well... Rush. No, I know, I know. It's the, uh, but, I mean, the three-piece, you've got to fill in a lot. Trevor's, Trevor's vocals are a lot like Geddy Lee. Uh, I'm just kidding. Not at all like Geddy Lee. <laughs> oh, he's very operatic. <laughs> no. You know, it sings, no. He doesn't sing like a chipmunk. No, Trevor, Trevor has a great voice. It's unique, and it's him, you know what I mean? And he writes, he writes good songs and everything. But, yeah, so that'll get that. And those that songs are fun. written by you and him? Uh, yeah. Well, I've got, I've, I, like, there's a, there's a couple things. You know that I add to. There's a song that's that's pretty much part of its mind. There's different things, but right. for the most part, it's Trevor's Trevor's tunes. And you were were in Palm Beach, West Palm yeah. Beach or Palm Beach the other last, night? Last week. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When do you play around here? Um, the next time we play around here, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when that is. <laughs> <laughs> but you do play around here. Yeah, yeah, all the time. But I'm just horrible at like keeping up on my schedule and stuff. <laughs> I'll well, you got two call. bands you're going with, mm -hmm. and then wherever else you can play too. Don't yeah. you do other things besides the two bands, or besides yeah, pretty much the two I bands? Do, I, I'm trying to get up north and stuff, and do stuff on my own too. You know, get you know. Tommy Welsh. Tommy Welsh Tommy? just took me up there twice. I went up there with him. Um, just going up to like local, you know, like Manhattan and playing up there, hitting different jam sessions, yeah, getting my name out there. Yeah, let them like, people, people see know who you. I am. So, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, bump that's heads, let the people see you. That's what time. That's that's a good thing. Yeah, a lot of big guys up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a lot of musicians down here, but a lot of the musicians down here have, uh, I don't know, most of them are are probably close to retirement or semi-retired or getting close to retired. Yeah, you know the the, the older guys. They're just plain like, tired. Like, I'm getting ready to retire. No, I think they're just plain tired. 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 Were you here? Did you see Ron Caddy's interview? Oh, yeah, you, you interviewed him. So, <laughs> so horrible. So horrible. Where's the sound effect, man? So horrible. I mean, that for was that, so bad. For that, for that, I want the... <gasps> oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Worst thing ever. Well, you know, it's the first show. It's gotten, no, it's gotten. It's, the I'm ratings have gone up <laughs> since then. You see, to the quick. The yeah, ratings have gone up since the first show, and uh, it went up with Kenny Cohen, and now it's going to go way up with with you. So that yeah. you know, it was good. We're, we we love Ron. Ron's going to be doing his music uh, project here at the studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's going to be doing uh, his CD, I hope, or some kind of thing like that. <laughs> what else is there? Well, I guess it's a CD. We love. We we can't I, wait. I'm to, hoping to do eight track. We yeah. can. We're gonna do eight track. Where's yeah, the sound -track. effects? Yeah, you told me no sound effects. You want to sound effects? <laughs> David doesn't know what an eight track is. Do you remember what eight track? Know he what knows what eight Come tracks on, are. No? Hey, no. we're not that young. And those CDs. We, he, we know what eight I tracks are. CDs. We know. We even know what vinyl is. You know. Oh, you know. You know vinyl. <laughs> like this? I got two CDs. Man. Maybe, maybe Clay. CDs. I got two CDs. He's going to release it on Clay, right? <laughs> yeah. make any sense. The old fashioned. Like, oh, the I got wax. Two CDs still. <laughs> would you like two CDs? <laughs> Jamie does not remember, and neither does Dave. Four track. No. Okay. Four track. No, I don't remember four track. Four track. I never when heard I of four track. My first car. I heard a my phonograph. First four, yeah, yeah, Ryan there was four that. track. Not, never mind eight. There was four track, and it wasn't. It was Frank Zampa and the Mothers of Invention and the Beach Boys, and these were four track. And I kept playing Frank, Frank Zappa's music over and over again. It was his first one. Yeah. Boy, that's come a long way now. CDs. You gotta stop, stop talking. All right, here we go. We'll be right back. <laughs> Dave's gonna play some tunes for us. Don't go anywhere, please. You gotta hear this guy. You and gotta I don't hear. Even, him. I don't even know what I wanna play. He's gonna play some bass stuff for you. I don't care if it's off the wall. It probably will be. Check it out. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Inside the Sound Wave with David Pastorius today. Beautiful day on the beach here and in the Atlantic. We're going to get back to talking here quick because these 12 minutes go by real quick when you're doing an interview. At least I found that out. This is the third show and I'm just like going, come on, i got a thousand questions to ask. David, what about this company you you got going now? This, uh, what is it? Oh, you mean the bass company? That bass I'm company. They're called, they're called um, it's called Artisan Bass Works. And uh, that's the name of the company. They got something called Answer Technology, which is a patent they're using. And it basically stands for uh, Angled Neck Stringed Instrument Resource. And the next on, what it is, the neck's on like a different angle than most basses on like a parallel plane. These are on a slight, slight angle. And uh, you just have to, like if you've seen it, you've seen it in the, when I was playing that. I don't know if you can see the whole bass or not. 
Yeah. But if you notice, it's like, yeah. you notice how it's kind of angled looking? Right. And it's basically, the base it always feels like it's in playing position. You know, it's kind of cool. As opposed to a lot of bases, you're constantly holding and lifting up. This base just sits on you that way. That way. And it's, because it's, of the angle of the neck. Yeah. Adjusted mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then they, they make great stuff, good guys. They make great equipment. When did you start doing this? I met them guys out at the NAM conference like two years ago, I think. At the sum, at Summer NAM in Nashville. I met uh, Jody. He's, he's like the main dude. And uh, hit it off with him. And that's what happened. Wow. So you have your own line. The, yeah, they're starting to start a signature line of, of for, for me. I just got. Where try can to one somebody go to see? Right now, that like what I had is just like the prototype. I mean, it's not really out yet, but we're trying to get into some stores and stuff like that. So if any stores, are I wonder if I could get one of the guys to bring his bass guitar in, so we could we could uh, so you could show it on the okay. on the show. I like to have, I like to do that. I didn't even know what to play when I played. I was just like, oh, uh, you did great. Are you kidding me? Whatever yeah, you play is a blur, anyway. anyways. No, 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 no. <laughs> It sounds great. We we it was really good. Well, uh, what are you doing? Giving you a bait. It's mine now. Here it is. This is the bass he was talking about. Tell, show him a little bit of uh, on that. Yeah. Um, it's basically like if you look at if you look at most bases, if you see see how that that is, most bases the neck would kind of come out like that. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, yep. Like that, as opposed to this is on an angle. And basically, even when you sit, the way it hit the way it sits on your leg, it's yep. always right there. You stand, it's in the same spot. And that's it. So that's why it's kind of off center. Yeah. Yep. And this is the one they're making for you. How do you feel about it yourself? You really like it a lot? Oh, you? I like it a lot. Yeah, it's great. A lot. It plays great. It's real clean. Where? Where? <laughs> well, it gets a lot of play, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It sure does. Um, Sounds real good, too. What did you say? One might. Look at these or find these on. Uh, if you go on, if you go, there's Artisan Bass Works, or if you go on Answer Answer Music, dot com, I think. Answer Music. Yeah, but it's A N S I R. Answer, A N S I R. And type in uh, just look for. If you type in Answer Music, you'll you'll find it. What like about Google. the guitar on there? How do you, how do they find It'll it? It'll probably be on the page. All right, probably on the on page. Yeah, you just look up their stuff. And th and this is what you play with every every gig almost, right? Yeah, this that's what I play. Yeah. Yep. Do you have one? Do you use one in particular, or do you have several guitars? I just have this one right now. I just have one bass right now. But yeah. That's okay. It. What about uh, what about the guitar lessons again? I wanted those. I wanted to talk about that, so we could tell the people a little bit about <clears throat> about that again on the on the apps. I know I had it on mine. Yeah, it's just it's called Rock School. I'm gonna start recording some lessons for them. Just a little clue. Like, you know, they got, like, beginner. They got, like, drum lessons, vocal lessons, all kinds of different lessons on there. You yeah, can look I had it, it on here. It's a free download right now. Right now. Free download. How can you beat that? Um, and basically... Rock school? Yeah, they're like, what I'm doing is, like, little two-minute... There it is, Atlas Apps. Like, little two-minute lessons. I don't know if you can show it. I got it. Jamie's got it. There, he's got it. Good. There you go. There you are. And that's you doing uh, giving uh, I will be, yeah. Start, I don't know if it's up there yet, but I will I will be starting to do some, you know, some work, work for them guys. Great guys. It's a great idea. It's an awesome idea. You know? How long have you been doing this? Just I'm started? I'm just going to start, start it up right now, yeah. Wow. Start doing it. That's great. Yeah. I'm going to put that uh, app on the website, too, so people yeah, know, where, know where to go. And we'll also put that base, <clears throat> an artisan, right? Cool. That's cool. So what do you plan on doing now? Uh, it's 2012. What, what do you got? What do you got on your mind for? Where, you, where do you want to go? There's nowhere to go. The world's over. <laughs> the world is over. <laughs> oh, right? No, I don't know. Making money, <laughs> paying child support. You want to do a CD? You want to get a major record label? You want to I'm, go yeah, touring? I just, I just want to. I just want to be able to support myself, man. I just want to be able to get out there and play. If a, I don't care if it's a a touring band or whatever, or some other band. I, I so, just a gig. so what if a band? I don't know. I'm gonna throw one spiral gyro, or somebody comes after you. I play with that guitar player. Yeah, me and him. I know that guy well. I mean, me and him are. They come at you, or somebody player. like that comes at you I would to, love to, to play. I would love. Yeah, I'd love to. The money's got to be there, but if the money's there, yeah, yeah, of course. And you're gonna probably go back up to New York and 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 show off a little bit more up there, aren't you? Yeah. I hope. I try to play. Yeah. 
that's what I say. I tell people, <clears throat> you know, with all that, all that stuff. I was like, I play bass too. Believe it or not, I actually, I actually, <laughs> do. I actually know how to play. You know, simple. I've done it. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not lying. So uh, you're still in Bavard, and you're playing with the two bands that I want to make sure that everybody know, they probably all know, anyways. But just in case you don't know. It's Local 518 and Elephant Gun. Yep, Local 518 and Elephant Gun. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> you, you're you not doing any... You, you, you don't fill in with anybody else occasionally? Yeah, 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 yeah I will. will. Anybody that calls, if I got the time for it, I'll, I'll play with anybody, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, going from anything. Okay. I've done, I played a little bit with uh, Patrick Gibson, too, even, you know, the country guy, right? Right. I've done gigs with him, and that's cool, too. So you don't have any problem playing that kind of music, neither? Any other well, kind of music? The only problem I had was I didn't, I wasn't that good at it at first, you know what I mean, believe it or not. Like country, there's, yeah, like country music, wow. blues music, it's, that stuff's all, it's not like it's a joke, you know what I mean? It's, there's, there's feels and stuff like that. Country music was rough, man, I didn't realize it, it really is. And it's not because of like, technically it's that rough, but you know, it's harder to play slow than fast. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You know, you can do all kinds of, you can blaze something away real quick, but when it comes to like playing, you know, you can play a note, go take a piss, come back, play another note. Yeah. That's hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was good. I liked it. So uh, we had, yeah, country, we, we, we hear it all here. I haven't seen you come in the studio yet. Uh, there's though. not much. You know what? There's not much up here, though, musically? It's blues. What? Just kidding. I'm just joking. It's a joke. It's stupid. <laughs> I've never, I mean, there's not, I know, it's too much, I'm just kidding. It's too much? I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I'm glad you said that. Okay. I love blues, no I do, I play yeah. blues music. Do you? Just, yeah, I just, there's a lot of it here. A lot of it? Yeah. Nope. What about jazz? I don't love blues, I'm not, I take it back, I don't love blues music, blues music is cool, I respect it, I respect, yeah, all kinds of music. What about jazz? Yeah, sure. I don't know any standards or nothing like that, yeah. but I respect it. Like I said, country, I don't listen to much country, but I respect it. Right. You know, there's certain things I like. I like mostly <laughs> hip-hop and hardcore music. What did you call it? You cut the, the style of music you play again? What, the, with oh, Elephant Gun? Oh, homosexual. Homosexual genre. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> there, you're missing the sound. I gotta stop, I gotta stop. <laughs> All right. Is there sound effects? <laughs> yeah, there was. Uh, so you don't have your ear piece. Which one was it? <laughs> <laughs> a laugh, a good oh, laugh. It was a great laugh. That was stupid. I shouldn't have said that. No, um, <laughs> it's out there now. Welcome. Um, no, okay, what kind of music? I call, it's like southern punk, like southern punk kind of. Yeah. You're kidding? No, I'm serious. You got Elephant Gun. It's definitely got a southern vibe to it. Ask Ryan. Ryan's heard it. It's like a southern rock punk. Is punk. that a, is that actually a genre? A genre? A southern punk? I wouldn't call it a genre yet. Give it time. But it's, it's a new one. And what about what about local 518? What do you what kind of base? That's it? Good. No, I'm not gonna say it. No, that's but, that's just that's just a bunch of different stuff. Hey. Big mix of everything. Everything. Hey, Ryan wants to say something. Oh, Ryan, Harp City Harper. Ryan, go ahead. Yeah, they sound real good. <laughs> yeah, they sound real good. <laughs> they sound real good. Yeah, Boy, that's a good, yeah. thank you. That's a good comment. Yeah, I, like I like that. I like that. It's like all Ryan, you got a question for Dave? Nope. Well, you took <laughs> you took bass lessons from him. I what? did. You took a couple. I took a couple. A couple. He said I graduated, but I'm not any better. <laughs> you need to get the app. <laughs> that I do. Brand new. That I need to practice too. Yeah, but how long ago was that really? That was. Man, that was long time. That was a long time. Yeah. It was like like. 2001 or two or something? How, I mean, how yeah. long have you been playing? I've been playing for 15 years. Okay, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, so I was like, what? I've been playing for five years when I was giving them lessons. Yeah, long time ago. 30 seconds left. Wow. Five years. Dave, how did you get so good in such short amount of time? Did you just constantly play? Yeah. I'm, I mean, oh, where my, did you dude, get my, my first two years, that's all I did was play. Play. That's all I did was play. That's all. That's pretty much all I wanted to do was play bass. I wish I practiced more now, but I'm gigging a lot, so that's kind of like practice. It's like the best practice you can well, get. Well, you, you got to eat. Right? But, you know, it's cool. I just, I just been 
Yeah, that's probably something I'm stuck with, so it's like I love doing it. All right, well, let's have a hand for David Pestorius because I, I'm, uh, I'm completely honored to have him here today to tell us, tell you all about a little bit about Dave, uh, all kinds of different things about Dave. But we all know this guy can play bass. I don't care what anybody says. He no, I play, play bass. bass too. He plays bass too. Two Ooh. CDs too. You want, you want two CDs? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you for tuning in to Inside the Soundwave. We will be back next Thursday at 2 o'clock. You'll be able to watch the show after 5 p.m. today on demand 24-7. We'd like to thank uh, uh, Harp City Harper, Six Feet South for their music. Listen to their music. It's really good. I'm telling you, you're missing out on this fella's music. It's fantastic. Ron Caddy, wow. listen to his music. Check out Sean Solhouse. He's got some good music. He's got a couple good bands he's playing with. Uh, and Six Feet South. Check out ISW Recording Studio. And don't forget open mics. I feel left out. Okay. I feel left out. I'm the only one without any music. And, 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 then, the and then check out Jamie <laughs> Martino. Now, he is the... The brains behind all these mistakes. I mean, all these things. He does a great job. He's been with me a long time. Thank you, everybody. See you next Thursday. Watch the show. Check the guy out. He's playing it all over the place with these two bands. Elephant Gun. Elephant Gun. Local, local 518. Come on. Go hear Dave. Hear the band. Okay? Fantastic. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you next week.
Sunshine, 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 sunshine